my name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about Fiber Optics Communication Trainer and its order code is 285108 so in this video we are going to discuss about its working so this is our Fiber Optics Trainer so here we are having all the components and the circuitry given on the PCB so this is the circuitry and component section and from this section we have to do all the connections and then we will perform the act experiments from this section only so this is our signal generator block so by using these ICs and components we are generating the signal similarly we are having audio input block then PM PPM block then FM modulation block and similarly we are having the supply section and this is the fault switch so these are the components and the circuitry that are there on the top of the kit and from here we have to do the connection so the first section is of function generator here we are having the amplitude port and this is the frequency adjustment port and here we are having the switch so by using this DIP switch we can choose the frequency of 10 hertz 100 hertz then 1 kilohertz and then 10 kilohertz so here we are having two options square wave and sine wave then this is the audio input then this is the ground block then this is the FM modulation block this is PAM PWM section then this is the PIBS generator block this is BER meter this is BER counter block and this is the noise generation this is comparator and this is PC to PC communication block then this is I block this is analog buffer block this is digital buffer this is AC amplifier this is audio output this is PWM PPM demodulation section this is the FM demodulation block this is the FO receiver for 660 nm and this is the FO receiver for 850 or 950 nm and this is the low pass filter this is the 850 or 950 nm FO transmitter and this is the 6 160 nm FO transmitter and this is the switch to select the analog link or digital link so that is how we can check the components and the block description that is given in this trainer so now we are going to perform the experiment on this trainer so the experiment we are going to perform is to study fiber optical analog link so for that firstly we need to do the connections so in the manual you will find the connection diagram like this so we need to do the connection first so firstly we will connect the sign output from the function generator to the input of 660 nm FO transmitter and then we need to connect the optical fiber cable from FO transmitter output to FO receiver input like this So here you can see that you have to connect the optical fiber cable like this from the 660 nm FO transmitter to 660 nm FO receiver. Now we will connect the output of FO receiver to the input of AC amplifier and at the output of AC amplifier we will observe the waveform. So for that we require the DSO so now we will check these three waveforms at the output so the first waveform is of the input signal of 1 kilohertz to VPP so we will switch on the trainer so we need to ensure first before performing the experiment we need to ensure that all the fault switch are at on position 
and it is mentioned in the manual also and we have to keep the fault switches at on so that there will be no fault creation now we will connect the ground of the dso to the ground section like this so we are using the first channel of dso so we have connected the ground to the ground and now we will connect the other end of the dso probe to the function generator section so here you can see we are getting the sine wave so we need to select 1 kilohertz so we will select from the function generator dip switch section so we have kept it at 1 kilohertz and here we are having the frequency of 1 kilohertz and if you want to adjust it you need to rotate the frequency knob so here you can see if I am rotating the frequency knob in anti-clockwise direction the frequency reduces and if I am rotating it in clockwise direction the frequency increases and by using the amplitude pot we can change the amplitude of the waveform also so now we have to check if it is 1 kilohertz frequency so here you can see on the DSO this is 1 kilohertz frequency and we have to check the peak to peak voltage so it will be 2 so we will check it for channel 2 and it is 2 volt peak to peak voltage so now the first signal is this and now we will check the second waveform which is the detected signal for 660 nm source so now we will check the detected so we will check it at FC receiver so here you can see we are getting some distortion at the waveform so we need to adjust the amplitude a little bit so if you will adjust the amplitude you will notice that the waveform will be like this so now at the receiver end we are getting this waveform and now at the AC amplifier section we will check the waveform so we have connected at the output port and now we will press auto set so we are using the channel 2 so we will switch off the channel 1 and now we will adjust the scale so now we have to adjust the AC amplifier pod so that we get the same signal as the so here you can see that we have adjust the waveform and now you can press the run stop so here you can see this is the same frequency of 1 kilohertz so you need to adjust the AC amplifier port the frequency port and the amplitude port so that you will get the waveform like this so that is how you can set the optical fiber analog link and you need to make sure that this switch should be at analog link position if you will keep it at digital link you will be getting this waveform so you need to keep it at analog link as it is defined in the manual so that is how you can perform the first experiment now we are going to perform second experiment that is to setting up fiber optical digital link so for that firstly we need to do the connection so the connection 
will be remaining same so here you can see that the block diagram and the connecting wire connection is given in the manual so the connection will remain same just we need to change the function generator input from sine to square wave so now we have provided 1 kilohertz square wave so we will adjust this so here you can see that this is the 1 kilohertz square wave and now we will keep this digital link switch from analog to digital link so we will press this so now it is kept on digital link and now we will firstly check the square wave so here you can see that this is the square wave of 1 kilohertz this is the input waveform so again from the manual we will observe these three waveforms so the first is the square wave signal of 1 kilohertz so this is the square wave signal of 1 kilohertz and now we will observe the detected signal for 660 nm source so here you can see that this is the detected signal and now we will check the AC amplifier output so this is also the same as 1 kilohertz and if you will increase the AC amplifier gain so you need to increase it in the clockwise direction so as you will rotate it in clockwise direction the AC amplifier gain will increase so that is how you can perform this experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study frequency modulation and demodulation with fiber optic so for that we need to do the connection first so the connection is given in the manual so we need to connect the sign input to the FM input and we have to connect the FM modulator output to the input of 660 nm FO transmitter and then we need to connect the FO transmitter to the FO receiver through optical fiber cable and now we will connect the receiver end to the FM demodulated section and we need to connect the demodulated output to the low pass filter and then we need to connect the low pass filter output to the input of AC amplifier and at the output we will observe the demodulated waveform so that is how the connection is done so now after the connection is done now we will switch on the trainer kit but before that we need to make sure that all the fault switch are at on position so there will be no fault created and now we have switch on the trainer so now we will check the waveform so firstly we will check the sign input waveform so this is of 1 kilohertz and we need to keep this analog link and digital link switch at analog link and now we have to observe the waveform which is given in the manual so in the manual here you can see that these are the waveforms which we should get at the output section so the first waveform is of the input sign signal of 1 kilohertz to VPP so this is the input waveform and now the second waveform is of frequency modulated output so we will check the frequency modulated output at the frequency modulator output section so here you can see that this is the frequency modulated output waveform now the third is the detected analog output so we will connect it to the detection so here you can see that this is the detected frequency waveform which we are getting
now we will check the frequency demodulated output so we will connect it at fm demodulated output so here you can see that this is the frequency modulated output and now we will check the demodulated output which is passes through the low pass filter so here you can see that this is the so here you can see that this is the filter output and it is of 1 kilohertz of same vpp as the input so you need to adjust the amplifier gain so it is of same frequency and same vpp so that is how you can perform this experiment and you can verify the waveforms from the manual now we will perform another experiment that is to study pulse width modulation and demodulation so for this experiment also you have to do the connection as it is given in the manual so we need to keep the trainer kit off and we have to change the connections from fm modulation to ppm and pwm modulation section and we need to change the connections from fm to ppm and pwm at the modulation section also and at the demodulation section also and similarly we have to do the connection as it is given in the manual and we can observe these waveforms so it is also the input signal that we can check so now we will switch on the trainer kit and we will check the input signal first so this is our input signal of 1 kilohertz and now we will check the pulse width modulated output so we will check it at pulse width modulated output section so here you can see this is our PWM waveform and we can check the pulse position modulated output so for that we need to connect it at the detection and by using these ports which are provided here we need to adjust it like this and similarly we can check the ppm demodulated waveform then filtered output so that is how we can perform the ppm and pwm experiment and here also the comparator section will be connected so we need to do the connection as it is given in the manual so the connection process will remain same and we can observe these waveforms so that is how you can perform this pwm modulation and demodulation experiment and similarly we can perform the ppm also so now we are going to perform the other experiment that is to setting of propagation loss in optical fiber so for this we have to do the basic connection which is given in the manual so here you can see this is the connection which is given in the manual and i have done the same connection so i have connected the sign input to the 660 nm fo transmitter and i have connected the transmitter and receiver section of fiber optics with the optical fiber cable and i have connected the receiver end to the ac amplifier section and i have connected the dso at the output of ac amplifier so for observing the propagation loss we need to connect two different lengths of optical fiber so here i have connected the optical fiber of length 1 meter so you need to observe the waveforms after connecting this optical fiber cable of 1 meter and then you can connect 
and another optical fiber cable of 3 meter length so you will observe the changes in the waveform so as the length of the optical fiber increases you will see at the output section of the AC amplifier you will observe the waveform which will be less in amplitude so you need to increase the gain from this AC amplifier gain so that is how losses occur as we will increase the distance of the optical fiber cable or we can say if we increase the length of the optical fiber cable so similarly we are having the other experiment that is to study bending loss so for that the connection is same and now we will use a round kind of shape like this and we need to bend the optical fiber along this pipe like this so as you will bend the optical fiber or roll the optical fiber with this tool so you will notice the changes in the waveform so let us check so firstly we need to do the connection and then here you can see I need to adjust the amplitude first so here you can see that this is the waveform I am having and now if I will roll the optical fiber along so you will see the reduction in the gain of the waveform so as you roll the optical fiber cable around this round shape tool so you will find the loss of attenuation so that is the objective of this experiment so similarly we can perform the other experiments that are given in the manual now we are going to perform another experiment that is measurement of bit error rate so for that firstly we need to do the connection so we need to connect the clock from the BER counter block to the clock out of PRBS generation block and now we will connect the data out to the data in and we will connect the receiver data to the output of noise generator and now we will connect the data out to the input of 660 nm echo transmitter and we will connect the receiver to the input of noise so that is how the connection is done now we will switch on the trainer and here we need to keep this P5 port at minimum position for low noise and if we will keep it at maximum position then we will have the maximum noise so let's see the waveforms so firstly we need to connect the ground port of the DSO to the ground and firstly we will observe the waveforms so we will check the PIBS clock so for that we will connect it at clock output so here you can see that this is the clock so this is the clock output and now we will check the PIBS data 
so for that we need to connect it to the PRBS data section and now we will check the noise so for noise if we will keep the bot at max position here you will see the maximum noise and if you will keep it at minimum position you will see minimum noise at the data so the noise will be added in the data and now when we keep the noise port at maximum so the maximum noise gets added with the data and now we will check the data so here you can see these are the waveforms which we get and now after checking the waveforms now we have to check the bit error rate so for that we will again switch on the trainer so here we have to connect the PIBS generator block so here we are having 32k, 64k and 128k so this is the rate of bit error generator so we need to first connect the jumper at the 32k as it is given in the manual now we will switch on the trainer so here you can see the bit error counting has start and now we have to wait so if you have kept the noise port at maximum then you will notice the maximum noise so as here i have kept it at maximum so here you can see the maximum change in the readings so now again we will press reset so there are two buttons that are given in the PIBS generator block so one is reset and one is start so i have pressed the reset so it is at the 00, zero state and now i will click on start but before that i have to reduce the noise and i will keep it at minimum position and now i will press start so now we will see the bit error rate will be minimum so that is how you can restart and start as per your requirement so here you can see these are the readings which we get so we need to note the bit error rate and we need to do the calculations accordingly So here you can see we got the reading as 9786. So 86 is somehow close to the reading 97. So here you, we can check as we have kept the noise at minimum, we get the minimum error rate. So that is how you can perform this experiment. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this kit, you can contact at Tesla Global website. You can find the link in the description. For more information, go through the manual. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel.